an actual working mech. The, okay, the legs are freaking amazing. Upside down carts for the, oh my lord. And it's shooting bombs at everything. Okay, that's kind of sick. Even the head looks really cool. <laughs> I didn't know Armored Core was in Zelda, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the builds are just insane. And you want to know what else is insane? That's right, me. For doing some more Zelda-related content. I am back at it. Oh, maybe slam that like button. Let me know if you guys like seeing this kind of stuff. Because I, I love Zelda. I can't, I can't stay away from this stuff. I got a lot of cool memes and a lot of cool builds and crazy things to show off. So, you know, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Just a small warning, uh, of course there's gonna be spoilers in this video, okay? Uh, the game's been out for a while, don't get mad at me for no spoilers, alright? You, you click it on this video, I, if anything that's super major, I'll give you like a, a major warning, okay? Just for that, I better get a subscription, okay? I'll, I'll warn you. So you made an awesome house for this Lionel to live in? Oh my Christ, oh my god. He got a little corral, look at him! He's inside. <laughs> oh, he's a, the, that's a roar of happiness that he's in there, man. Why are you so angry? That's your new home. <laughs> oh my God, those Zodai parts are just so insane. You could just cage them in. There's nothing they can do. There's little knee-high barriers. He can't hop that, man. He's no horse. <laughs> Surprised he doesn't warp out of that, but that's that's really good. That's really funny. Hey, yo. What's up, little Korok, buddy? You want to see your friend off in the distance? They always want to see their friends off in the distance. It's so annoying. All right. Yeah. Tell you what, man. I got you. Okay, that's a little bit more than I got you. That's a freaking airship. That is a legit functional huge airship that actually doesn't eat up too much energy, surprisingly. Uh, <laughs> what on earth? It's so massive. Though he got the Korok, I don't think he ever took him to actually see his friend, but he got to see that skyline, so, I mean, that's a double win. Is that a wheel? And those are the star bits that are just surrounding everything? What you gonna do with all that? <laughs> hey, yo, what? You can do that? They're not even connected. How? Yo, it's just at a distance, and you make a little cool skyline and stuff, like little stars that are going around, little shooty stars. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm honestly, I'm I'm so impressed that people's creativity will make a cyclone of stars. That's really pretty to look at. It serves zero purpose, but it's pretty. This guy actually just made an oscillating fan. It's just an oscillating fan and you can see his hair. It would be really funny if you could actually cool yourself off in like a hot area. <laughs> like a fan just blowing in your face. If that worked, 10 out of 10. Wait, what's going on? Is he making a hand? Okay, I, I'm getting PTSD. That's a master hand. Oh, it's shooting its fingers and it has lasers. Oh, it's even got the rocket going around. Okay, a little even thumbs up. Wait, what? There's a Korok and that's a mecha? That's a creative build. The fact that you got the master hand to go around, shoot things, be a rocket, and actually function, that's so cool. I mean, to be fair, Zelda was always in Smash Bros, but you know, it's, it's still another cool combination. Oh, okay. The gloom hands, yeah, that's the best way to do it. Just hit them with the bombs, get rid of them. I don't want anything to do with those things. Get them out of here. You got, you missed one. Where did it go though? Did he spawn? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they just teleport. Gotcha. <laughs> oh no, that's so sad. Usually when they like vanish like that, they just despawn and they leave a little bit of gloom stuff like that. Oh man, it actually just teleported behind you. <laughs> oh my, well, mo. Shit, that root. All right. Ah, the little puzzle up there. Okay, so you just gotta, you gotta chuck it down to uh, the shrine. All right, yeah, sure. There it is. You, you gotta go down on the, the ramp there? Oh, okay. All right. No way, is that like a hole in one? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, well played, sir. Hole in one, man. Hole in one. It's impressive to say it. I didn't even know golf was in this game. What? What on earth? Is that just a cage? And they even use the Koroks as wheels as it goes down inside of the pit. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Bro, the Korok abuse is insane. <laughs> so many people like seeing these horrific devices. <laughs> Just shows you nobody likes the fat, lazy Koroks, man. Nobody likes these dang things. What the heck kind of device did you make? Oh my god. You've actually made a working gun that shoots Koroks. Congratulations, you have made firearms <laughs> in Zelda that shoot Korok. Now you just need to actually use it in combat to take some enemies out. Take some Bokoblins out and you win. Are you ready for some fireworks? This is Nintendo New York City. Is this really? Okay. Oh, that actually looked good. <laughs> wait, wait, well, hold up. That actually looked really good. That's kind of cool. If you can make set up multiple of those off at once, it's a lot of choo-choo jelly, yes, but that's still really cool. Gloom hands go, oh, and it's like, hello, Wink, why are you going away? Why are you so shy? Come back. And it's even giving the heart symbol out that is like, no. Nah, fam, you ain't never tricking me with that. You can make them as cute as you want. I will hate them. They still scream like gremlins at you. <laughs> like, I don't want nothing to do with those. I don't care if they want hugs. No. All right, so Link's struggling to move up a boulder. All right, and he's got his stick. And he decides to stick it inside of it. Uh, no worries. I can hold it now, no problem. <laughs> this person's trying to figure out, wait, what? How is he able to move it so easily now that it's attached to his stick? That makes zero sense. It really doesn't make any sense how he's able to attach things to his stick and suddenly it becomes a weapon. I don't know how it works. Zelda, Link can literally carry like 99,000 of a single item in his butthole. I don't know where he keeps it, but you know, it's never about the science. Destroy, get him, do it now! The sword boy, blah, 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 the master sword, and all these people's the shrines, like, go to the shrines, as he's just got spirits around. Well, I'm just happy we're traveling together again. I'll support wherever you want to do first. And Mifa, oh, thank you, I. Have you thought about what's for dinner? <laughs> it's all the freaking ghosts of the past get to it. At least in the newer game, the spirits are a lot better, okay? The spirits actually help you in combat. I mean, technically, they did help you before in combat. Like, Mifa literally rezzed you from zero. That's pretty good. But, you know, actually, like, the gang helping you out at all times, I think that's a lot better. Hey, yo, Wind L Waker Link out here, and he's throwing things on the ground. You get to pick it up like a bird, and that's just mean oh and he gets squashed by the other big bird all right there we go karma all right so he gives it to his other Rito friend and wait a minute <laughs> oh how the turntables have turned tidily <laughs> okay which one was first was the wind waker or was uh breath of the wild I, I don't know which one was came first in the zelda timeline i know it's completely separated now i think they got away from it but um uh, good question don't worry I won't have you latched to a cross like the rest of these Koroks. It's useful that you happened by. The Korok abuse has just been so bad out there. Okay, yeah. Link would concern me if I was a dragon and I saw all that stuff up there. I'm like, Link, what you doing, man? <laughs> like, wait, wait, what's this boy doing down there? Why, why am I gifting him all my scales? I still function perfectly after 10,000 years and it's... Yeah, one of those towers out there, she could tower. And someone farted on the control panel, now the whole thing's broken, and that's the Pura, yeah, the Hudson Pura tower. And it's a bit weird how, like, all the things just break so easily. I mean, some actually function, you just needed to touch them at least, okay? Not all of them were broken. And here we have a sword. <laughs> <laughs> with your silver baton. <laughs> he has more attack power now, but he looks a little stupid. <laughs> the Master Sword's like, don't worry, you get used to it. <laughs> it's so much more attack power now, come on. And Link's managed to make a, a big old device out there. That's a big thwomping thing out there. That'll, that'll do a lot of damage. It would be cool if we could actually uh, undo that and then just slams down and destroys a bunch of things. I mean, there is kind of blocks that you can do that with, so eh, maybe I should do that. Just make a big squisher. <laughs> that would be fun. He is a royal knight, and he had been originally appointed for my protection. But later, he became a hero by saving both me and Hyrule from a great evil. He is so very dedicated, and he refuses to back down from any challenge. Longing sigh. And Zelda, 
Do you need some more tea to help with that thirst? Because god damn, girl, she <laughs> You are thirsty, girl. Calm they all say. I mean, it was hinted that they did live together, kind of, or she kicked Link out of his house, um, which it would be a little bit sad if that was the case. But at the very least, we know that she did like him, all right? And she did make a little bit of an outfit for him as well. From I Will Buck You, uh, Link's Awakening, and, um, okay, and he's in his outfit. I can save him. I can make him worse. I can fluck him. Uh, I mean, fl yeah. I don't know about this one, boys. Oh, I don't know about this one. <laughs> it's a different kind of Link's Awakening out there, all right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if I want to see Link like that. It's either Link is super chadly or he's a fanboy. It's never an in-between. All right, so here we have uh, the fake Princess Zelda, apparently. And it's go away. Wait, are you selling as he's in his Yiga costume out there? And he's trying to give her the bananas. <laughs> She's trying to resist the bananas. All right. Zelda would want Link's banana, but I don't know if he want the mighty banana. Oh, okay, maybe Zelda would want the mighty banana the more I think about that. I mean, we had that one thing about the, the ultra thirst that she had before, let's be real. All right, now that we're towards the end of the video here, uh, I got some really good memes here, but they're a little bit spoilery, but they're just... I think they're the best memes. So if you're, if you're a little bit concerned about that, then, you know, you could always click on some other video, but now... I gotta, I gotta do these memes. My first girlfriend turned into the light dragon. That's rough, buddy. <laughs> yes! I got to say the line in another video! Let's go! And look, here's Ganon. And he seems he opened up a nice little sharp. Look at all the fruits that he's selling. <laughs> oh my god, he's even got monster extract. What a nice guy. No shot. <laughs> Did you just make... The final boss of this game look like a complete joke and make him a fruit vendor, bro. <laughs> anyway, now we're finally gonna end the video. If you guys enjoy some Zelda humor, you know, make sure to stick around. I got plenty of other videos if you guys want to check them out. But for now, I just want to thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you beautiful sons of guns again in the next video.